Welcome to the CalPATS course data population training. In this training, we will review the course characteristics and field requirements. We will also discuss common procedures and best practices related to the course section enrollment or course section completion submissions. Today's training will prepare you for the fall two or end of year data collections. CSIS has developed a new training model. We are hoping to provide more segmented organization to our training that allows for more specific topics and concise delivery. Rather than information dumps lasting three or more hours, we hope to provide training in half that time with less content, but more relevant information and instruction. Today's training, course data population, falls in line with the fall two data population trainings. It will prepare you for fall two, and end of year one. The target audience for this training. This training is intended for data coordinators, those doing the routine data maintenance in CalPADS, and the submission of files. This training will also be very beneficial for those of you who are new to CalPADS reporting. So let's discuss the objectives of today's training. We first would like for you to be able to identify the course data requirements and complete the fall two and end of year data submissions. We'd also would like for you to be able to prepare for the submission by populating your local SIS with the required data. An additional objective is for you to be able to perform the submission process through online maintenance or a batch file upload. And lastly, we'd like for you to resolve errors required for the submission. Let's go over today's agenda. We will begin with an overview introducing course data population in CalPADS. Next, we will review the data submission in some detail, discussing the field specifications and requirements. Then we will look at common course reporting scenarios. After that, we will spend a moment identifying which course elements are used for it. English language services. Then we will review some of the more common errors that trigger during the submission. The last thing we're going to discuss is basically a recap of today's session to hammer home some key points.